Yes, yes, Master and Crew, back once again with another video, and today I am in the process of formatting, not formatting, sorry, backing up my sound library and my all my work. I've bought, bought a two terabyte hard drive, which I've got on the floor down there now, and I'm backing up almost two terabytes worth of it. There's like 693 gigabytes, all my sounds, all my bits and bobs, all the stuff I'm working on. I just don't want to lose it. So I'm not taking a chance. I've bought a new hard drive and I'm just going to back it all up and stick it away somewhere so I've got all that safe. As you can see, it's copying that and it's got like six hours to go. It's like, I don't even know how many files. Just loads of them. <laughs> but yeah, peeps, I'm also in the process of trying to format my HXC emulator cards let me see okay so that says it's ready to go now so i do that and i hit save and it don't save it says reformat or arrange before writing something wrong with this man format arrange let me try arranging it it's just not having it Nah, mate. All right, I'm gonna try again. So, peeps, here is my HXC. I've just loaded a disc in, and as you can see here, it's uh, seeing the disc. I've turned it to number one, and it's got I don't know, it's got some zeros where the floppy drive is. I don't know if that's normal, but I'm gonna hit save, and uh, as you can see, it's saying I've got to format the disc before writing. Hmm. Okay, so let's try formatting of this then. But it should be a formatted Akai floppy. I'll try it anyway. So I hit the format. And it starts to format. Cool. Okay guys, so it turns out my HXC uh, emulator it was allowing me to save files, right, and format this, but then when I go to load them, it wouldn't recognise them. So the next step now is for me to go back into the sampler and start messing about with the jumpers, etc. So guys, we've got to hit the drawing board again. Got to take this HXC out and have a look at the jumpers on it. God blimey. Okay, apparently there's something to do with these jumpers here. I contacted the guy on eBay called Michael and he was pretty cool. Uh, he uh, helped me out, I explained the situation and, and he sent me two files. Uh, one which was a flash, um, a firmware updater, and the other one which was some other HXC S3000 uh, config file uh, to try. So inside the HXC there's a config file, uh, and there's also some blank disks as well. And there's two modes, I believe. There's, uh, there's a, a, an index mode, I think it is, and where you can just use the disks numbered 1 to 1000, and there's also another disk where it's... Un, a kind of like an unindex mode where you can just use the discs for their disc name so if you had no LED display or whatever the disc name would come up instead of the disc numbers with the, the, the disadvantage with the numbers um, is that you need to create a, a diary or a log somewhere with what's on what discs or just name rename the discs on each one or so as you flick through it but so it can end up being quite a bit tedious but this is what uh, Michael from uh, eBay said to me he said I've attached two files the disk file contains s3000 disk images and a config file unzip them both to your usb stick the other file will be the update emulator copy it to your usb stick insert the disk into the emulator with the power off holding down both buttons on the emulator switch and power on keep the buttons pressed in for a few seconds you will see what looks like a random character on the emulator display while it updates. When finished, you can remove the updated file from your USB stick. If you still can't save them after trying the files, it could be the jumpers. When holding the emulator with the front end closest to you, put the jumper on the first pins on the left. So according to the flex, I've got to put the jumpers there. So we'll do that now.
Okay, so there's three pins at the moment there. Let me plug in some power and see what I've won. Disclaimer, what I'm about to do now is very dangerous. Please do not try this at home if you do not have any experience of electronics with the lid open. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this on. Bang. Okay, so here it is, it's switched on. As you can see, it's booting up. You should see operating system 2.0 which it didn't, oh no, because it's on this zero, seems like it's an image. But let me, you know, let me just try it with this for a minute. So I'm gonna go number one. Okay, that seems to be working maybe a little bit better, I don't know, let's have a look. So I'll go to save, I'll go save disk, save the tile volume on one, no, it's still saying the same crap, man. All right, let me format it now. See, it's formatting like it works. You can see all the like tracks are formatting okay. Right, this is what I don't get. I've got disc one selected. And the thing is, right, when you select disc zero, it boots up from sort of disc zero quite easily. Uh, I'll try taking off another jumper in a second. Just all trial and error this kind of thing comment down below guys if you guys have ever used an hxc for the emulator and you know the jumper settings that i need to use there we go so we keep on formatting and formatting and formatting and formatting well at least my screen's working okay i don't know what's going on with this hxc is it is it even duff or something is it not working i mean it's coming on so surely it's got to be working it's just got to be a setting somehow somewhere while we're here let's have a quick look inside so we have a ic1 a board over there i don't know what that board is oh it's the effects board if pc effects board i've got pc effects board plugged into that sweet uh i've got two other slots don't know what they're for I've got some memory slots Got the power supply here do not touch anything on there while that's plugged in you will electrocute yourself guaranteed same goes for over there and no i'm not making a video where i electrocute myself hell no i'm not in that tip that's i like i'll save that for sonic boom or whatever his name is right check this all out here that's all the outputs spidiff i think spidiff board and it's made in japan Ah, here we are. Right, so we're formatted now, right? Disc is ready for use. That means it's good, right? But then look what happens now. Go to save it. Right, save. Sees, says the disc is not named, fine. Right, then I just press go. Oh wait, it's saving. Okay, so that's saved. Oh, this could be good. Right, now try and load the disc. Oh, it's seeing them. It's seeing the stuff. Clear memory and load. Yes, man, it's working to blood seed. Yes, finally working. Oh, this is good. I think we're there. I think we're there. I think we're there. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let me test that again. So, I go to disc two. Let me try saving on this too. Let me just try saving anything. So I'll change it to uh, cursor. Cursor item. Yeah, go to save. So it sees that disk there at 000. zero, zero. I'ma save sine wave on there. All right, there's no sine wave in here to save. Oh yeah, oh yeah, because I haven't got the right operating system. All right, tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go sample. I know it's not gonna feed any input in, right? But I'm just gonna go new sample. I'm gonna go record. Take the record threshold right down to, I believe it's zero dB, I think you've got to do it. And then press arm. Put, let me just do a two second sample. Three second sample, Bosch. No, okay, so you've got to take your, your decibels down to minus 20. Hit arm, Bosch. One, two, three. Okay, that's recorded, boom. Now, let me save. What? Jeez. New sample, save. On disc two. Flicking. Ah, uh, reformat. Why is it I've got reformat? Oh, so it's what? A blank disc then? 
All right, let me try a different thing then. Let me try wipe and save. Ah, so you wipe and save it when it's a new volume. Okay, that, that, that makes sense. I've saved that sample. Ah, oh, this is looking cool, man. Right, so now I go to global, um, load, sorry. Sorry, late in the day, mate. Oh, look, there it is. I hit load, go. Yes, mate, it's loading. It's working. Oh, man, that's a touch, man. I'm happy. So guys, that is it for today's video. As you can see, I literally just had ch to change a few jumper settings, also update the firmware, and uh, I believe that did it. Also, there's some configuration files because there's numerous different uh, configuration files around on the internet. Um, I'll put a link to in the description to the files that I actually used uh, at some point. Um, so, that's it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Please comment down below. I do read all the comments and I do love to hear your hear from you guys to hear what you think. I uh, need that encouragement. So that's it guys. Take care. God bless. Peace. I'm